G'day guys, Dan here from K Brothers Pythons and welcome to another two minute tip. As you can see we've got an Ollie Python laying here today. Um, I'm standing fairly close to her. When snakes lay they go on a bit of a trance so they're easy to get close to. Once they finish laying they can get a bit uh, defensive. So if you're getting eggs on a snake, which we're about to do and show you how to do, it's best off to do them as soon as they finish laying. Now, as I said before, they're in a trance. Troy had his head in here earlier, sticking his head right in, getting real close. It didn't bother her whatsoever. We'll wait until she's laid this clutch, and now we're just going to take her off the eggs. You see, she's crawled up the top there. Just going to uncoil the top of that top of that body. Move those eggs. Let's leave them there for now. And we'll just get her out of the road, just in case she does get a little bit stroppy when we're sorting the eggs out. Good girl. Not sure how many we got. How many did we get there, Troy? Oh, yeah, not a. Uh, oh. 13? 10? It's a handful. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Over count, man. Beautiful clutch. You get a good count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's nice. the last one laid through there. Okay, we'll get a tub sorted and get these things away. Alright, guys, well, um, we've got some tubs here ready to go. But we'll just show you what happens if you've got uh, not, not much space, you've got to squeeze a few more in. Now I'll show you a clutch of black of python eggs here, a fairly small clutch. We'll bring this over here and net down near the, um, near the hatchling so it's a lot easier, near the eggs, sorry. So yeah, we'll put them down here so it's nice and close to the clutch. And you see we've got some black of pythons here, eggs here, they laid last night. So um, we're about to mark the orientation on these eggs, so we'll get that sorted in a sec. It's best off to do that the day after they're laid or so, so the, the shells are a bit harder. But we've got these 14 here. Now, you can leave these in a clutch or tear them apart. But as I said here, if you don't have enough room, you can always put them in with another clutch that's been um, laid recently. But what you want to do is you don't want to leave those eggs in there when they're, when they're hatching because a snake, egg can, a snake can pip the egg, they've got an egg tooth, they can get underneath this clutch here if you was to leave, leave them clutched and they'll split the bottom of the egg and that can be an issue, you know. So we'll separate these later on, rip them apart. I'll show you one here. Ripping's a bad word, but you can just get your finger in there and separate them. We'll show you with this little one here while we're going. So we don't blow out that two minute mark. Oh man, that's well and truly gone. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Separate them out, they'll be separated in that clutch. And um, what, 70 odd days? What are olive incubation these days? Uh, what is it? 77 at 32.1 degrees. Nice, 77 days, there'll be um, 40 little albino babies. 